Hi guys, I'm back. And I can see that the whole canvas is not on the screen and I'm sorry for that, but I have to center it in the table. So, <laughs> but when we're all done, I'll try and get an entire shot of the whole painting. Um, let me get you down. I want to show you these new necklaces that I've just made. Okay, these are the pendants that I um, put my little um, paintings into and then poured resin over them. So this one is kind of like my little Dutch. You know, it's blue and white. It, it was some really pretty lacing. And so I put some white and blue beads on it. And then that one, that one's kind of cool. It's, um, looks like there's like a mushroom right in the middle of it. And then the yellow is kind of, kind of like a watercolor almost. And then let's see if I can get you a little closer without putting a shadow on it. That one's, that one was just a pretty red wipe. Actually, it's more, I think that's cranberry, so. And that one looks like a watercolor. I just thought it was pretty. And then that one is actually, um, let me see if I can pick it up and show you. That one's actually metallics. There you go. You can kind of see. And then that one, I did the beads in green because it had a hint of green running through it, so. So these are for sale. They're going to be on my website at some point, as soon as I can, you know, take some good pictures of them. Um, so if anyone's interested in buying them, you can just email me. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'd love to sell you one of my necklaces because, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be making the necklaces anymore because I really don't like doing the beads. I mean, they're pretty, but well, it's just, it's tedious and my eyesight is terrible anyway. So it was kind of giving me headaches trying to see all those holes in them little bitty beads, but I will still be doing the pendants and, and I'll be selling the pendants. I don't know. So there they are. Okay. So what we're going to do today is, um, something I saw on somebody else's YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is called M E M, uh, for art Two and then a capitalized D. So it's E-M, the number four, and then art, and then a space, and then a capitalized D. So you should check her out because um, she seems to be real young and she's got some really cool um, paintings. I mean, just really, really neat. I love her style. Um, and so I'm almost, you know, I asked her if it was okay if I, if I tried out her technique because it just looked really cool, it looked fun. Um, and she said it was fine, so, um, yeah, so we're going to try that today. Let's get rid of these. Whoa. Okay, so the colors I have today, we're going to do a white background. I'm going to pour that in just a minute off camera because pouring a white background over this canvas, this is a 18 inch by 24 inch, and it's on my spinner. Um, so I'm going to pour white over that in just a second. We're using Apple Barrel Colors today. Uh, except for the white. The white, of course, is the flow acrylic, the white flow acrylic. So we've got Apple Barrel colors, English Navy, Laguna, Lime Tree, uh, Bright Yellow, Cloudless, which is that sort of pale blue. And then for my purple, I've got a mixture of Wild Iris and Purple Pansy. It was just two that I had left over. I didn't have enough of one or the other, so I just mixed them together. So we've got some pretty colors going on today. And uh, I'm not really going to explain to you what I'm doing because it'll just take too long. But, you know, you're going to see it. So I'm going to stir in my silicone real quick. I have a fair about half a cup of paint. So I put two drops of my silicone in there. And I'm just going to stir those in real quick. And I have to remember, <laughs> absolutely have to remember, to move these paint cups off of the table before I spin it. Because if I don't... Uh, you're going to have, I'm going to have huge cups of paint pouring all over the place. And I have done that a couple times. One time I did it, I dumped an entire, like a cup this size, dumped the entire thing and it was right on the edge of the table. So it went all over the table, all over the floor, all over the carpet. It was everywhere. So I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and pour white all over my canvas. Okay. <laughs> um, slight disaster while I was trying to pour the white paint over there. Um, <laughs> I have like this newspaper surrounding my um, my setup here and my setup is not real stable so I tried to spin it and it caught something. I don't know if it caught the newspaper 
or if it caught the um or if it caught I don't know what but it caught something and like the whole setup came crashing down on top of me I had to yell for the girls to come running in from playing outside to save me <sighs> but crisis averted but I did realize through that that this is probably not gonna work it's definitely not gonna work as well as hers does uh, because I can't get my thing to spin fast enough so um, for the summertime I'm gonna that's one thing I want to work on is trying to make my own spinner that, that goes a lot faster I'm thinking about using a box fan I know I saw on some video somewhere some months ago somebody used a um, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring my fan on here somebody used a box fan to create a spinner and it worked pretty well so I'm thinking I don't know if I want to go you know just straight across or well, you know what, it's the first time doing it, we'll just, we'll just go for it. Um, no silicone in the white, of course, um, but there is silicone in all the colors. So I'm hoping that something cool will come up. Hopefully, you know, the spin will be good enough to to make something cool. But you never know. This could be a total flop. I'm hoping not, but and I don't have any of my most favorite signature color. No no uh, cranberry today. We're just gonna try you know, some colors I thought went well together. I don't want too much white, you know, to really get in there. All right, so we're going to spin this and see what happens. Oh! <laughs> I picked up all the newspaper. Okay, let's pick up that newspaper and get that out of the way, and then we'll spin it again. Wow. Okay, that totally did not go as planned. Okay, we're going to have to go around the other side because it's going to yank my uh, setup down again. Okay, that piece, I'm going to have to clean the whole table off because like, you know, I've got all my newspaper up. It was protecting my table. That is not going to be a fun cleanup. Okay, let's see. That one is pretty much a goner as well. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Now let's try and spin that again. I don't know if it's touching anything or not. Probably is. It sounds like it's dragging on something. Ah, got another piece of newspaper. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything is falling apart. Oh, and there's paint all over the floor. And now it's all over my socks. I had white socks, but now they're green and turquoise speckled. But who's gonna complain about that, right? Okay, it's not touching anything. There's something in my paint now. Let's get rid of that. I don't think that belonged. All right, let's try this, whoops. I've got some gorgeous, little cells uh, down here. They're really little, but they're really pretty. They're like grayish and turquoise and yellow. And just pretty. Let's see if that's going to catch. Okay. Let's try that again. We're just going to let it go for a minute. Not really liking it so far, but I'm loving the newspaper. Really pretty. Okay. It needs more of something. And what she does from here is like she'll stop it and she'll like either run a card through it or she'll run a ribbon through it and then spin it again. And her spinner it just is so much faster than mine. Okay, so not happy with it yet, but we're going to run something through it. Let's get a uh, like a uh, you know what really doesn't matter. We could just use a corner catcher. And so and she'll like sometimes she'll like fling the paint. So let's try that. 
<laughs> it went across my kitchen. It hit the refrigerator and it hit the wall and did not do anything down here. So that's not going to work. Let's try that one more time. There we go. See, that's kind of what I was hoping for. That's still on the table. It's okay. It's okay. Still not. I got a creature again right here. Ooh. Okay. I, ru I run it like. Neat. All right. Well, let's um. I have to run something through there. Um. I'm trying to decide. My finger. Um, no. There we go. Well, that like ruined like took a lot of the color out. Okay. Looks like a Nike sign. <sighs> Thank you. I scraped all the paint. It's completely dry right there. That's okay. It's okay. No big deal. At least you got that's like one me good cell there. Okay. That I do not need to scrape up any more paint. I need to pour some paint in there. So let's do some yellow. Looks like we need some good yellow. idea. Yep. Yellow. Since Easter is coming up, it's the Sunday. Woohoo! Okay. Actually, by the time I post this video, Easter will be already gone. Uh, let's see. Some blue. We need to do some ribbon. Let's do some ribbon. We'll put that through there and then maybe this one through here. Okay. And then let's do hormo. Let's do a ribbon with this. I'm going to put some white in there. I'm sorry y'all can't see this because it's off camera, but if I put my paints over there, it's going to be another disaster because I'm going to forget they're there pour everything. And knock everything over onto our painting. Yep. Pretty much, just like I just about did. Once ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi guys, it's me, Ella. Okay. I like that green, that limey green. There's not enough limey green in here, so I'm going to give just a, a hint of the limey green through there. And through this one. There we go. By the way, guys, okay. I love the comments you leave me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've already done those, so I don't really want to ruin, but I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to put it through here. So let's shoot. I don't know. You're doing a ribbon pour. Um, I don't, I kind of like that line, but I don't like this where there's a bear. So we're going to, ooh. oh, let's do this. Here we go. Wow, that was a lot of green. It was. Not expected at all. At least it added, oh, it it added scraped some. the thing right there. It looks cool, though. We'll just put that down there. Fill up the hole. All right, let's spin. Oh, good grief. Please don't hit anything else. Let's see. It's not going to hit anything else. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. Fingers, toes, pretty much everything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, for the first time, it was kind of fun. I'm not really sure I'll, I'll do this again. I don't know. We might do it again. I really need a faster spinner. I want it to go like super, super fast, but I'm afraid if I push it too hard, it's going to end up off the table in a big mess. It needs to spin again. There we go. Oh, there's more paint splatter, and I can hear it going. It sounds like rain on the newspaper. The newspaper looks pretty cool. I should have set like, I don't know, something under it to catch all the drips, but oh well. That's okay. I don't like this blue, solid blue right there. I kind of like it. Alyssa would like it. By the way, guys, Alyssa is my friend. She watches my mom. <laughs> and sometimes me. <laughs> when I'm on her videos. Yeah, which we need to do again. I think yeah. it's about time. Y'all paint it again if you want to. I definitely Okay, do. I don't know about this. I'm really not thrilled about it. Let's torch it and see what happens because... Um, okay. Because we have silicone. I hate these pack out these Pac-Man cells. I don't like those at all. Me neither. I used to like them, but now they're again kind of eh, not pretty. 
You have a pronghorn head in your painting. <laughs> okay, Either that or a mountain goat. Okay, this or is not doing pronghorn. anything. Next to the cheetah. Okay. Well, like I said, she does M four art D. Way more interesting than this. So check her out because she does really cool stuff. Ooh. M four D art. Oh gosh. Nothing's coming up through any of that. I don't like the solid blue right there. Okay, come on. Do something interesting. I feel like I need to spin it again, but I don't want any more of those Pac-Man cells because I really don't like those. I like these where they kind of twist when you fling it. I almost kind of want to like blow on the edges, but I'm afraid I'll ruin it. <laughs> but I kind of want to blow on these edges right through here. I'm going outside. Okay, have fun. Well, it's kind of neat. I'm really afraid to do anything else to it because I don't want it to, um, you know, get completely ruined. I was hoping like it would like wisp around the white. But... You can see like this purple kind of coming up through the green. So that's what I'm trying to bring up, just a little bit more color with the heat. Because you can see like these, these smaller cells that are coming up, and that's just from the heat sitting on it. I don't have the flame touching it, obviously, because, you know, you, you burn your paint. You can see smoke, which I have done from time to time. And... Um, it leaves this like layer, this dull layer on top, really that's really dry. And so when your paint dries, you can see it. I don't think anything else is happening with this. It's too plain. I wanted more cell action. Especially this blue here. I love the cells over here. Super pretty. And then, like, that stripe right there. <laughs> but that's it. Alright. That's it for torching. It was fun. It was interesting. It really mostly just tore up the kitchen. But. <laughs> Let's get you down so you can see a little better. Alright. Um, let's see. Right there. There's a pretty little cell. It looks like a, the purple right there. It looks like a tulip. And uh, I hate the shadow. I'm sorry. Let's see. Pretty, pretty area right there. Kind of. Some pretty cells. Oh, let me show you this corner over here. This edge. Look at that. Okay, let's see if I can get down to it without casting a shadow on it. There we go. Look at that. Pretty. That's what I want like all over the painting. But no such luck. Okay, there's not a whole, really a whole lot to show close up because <laughs> it didn't do a whole lot. Some pretty, a little bit. I think the, the, the ribbon through there was probably the best addition. Okay, well there it is. There's your pretty for today. It was fun. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you want me to do another one like this or forget it, don't ever try it again sort of thing because <laughs> I'm going to have to think about this one for a while. I don't know. It's kind of neat. It's kind of not neat, but we'll go with it today. All right, wherever you are on the planet, I hope you have an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. And thank you to all my subscribers. 
uh all of you who love me out there i love you too thanks for everyone who views my uh videos here so you know if you like what you see push the subscribe button and click the like button for me and uh see you later bye